What's good? What's good? This your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Just Cause She Banged You does not mean she's not a racist. Reaction video. I'm about to play a video for y'all, and I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on it once it's over. Check it out. East Coast represent. <laughs> With the Midwest. Yeah. But we're Vegas now. I found a new bae and he's super cute. Don't call me racist ever again because I like black pee pee. Okay? And it's big. The way I like it. Okay? So don't ever come on my page and say that I don't like black banana. I love black banana bitches. Bigger than, uh, bigger than most y'all's got ever will gra have, and you, it sucks for you. Message. Me black men got the biggest, all right, and they know how to, you know, use it. So don't ever come on my page and call me racist, because I'm going to throw that ass back. <laughs> all right, so what you have right there was a black, was a girl showing you that she wasn't racist just because she had intimate relations with a black man. Just because a woman has intimate relations with a black man does not disqualify her as being racist. I know plenty of girls, white girls, even Hispanic girls, who dealt with black guys but still have racist characteristics towards them. Don't you know I've been around Asian girls who will have sex with a black dude, white girls, Hispanic girls that will have sex with a black dude, but won't bring them home to their mamas, won't bring them home to their daddies. Soon as they get mad at that black dude, all of a sudden he's the N word. Y'all do know this, right? Because a lot of y'all be thinking, oh, she ain't racist. She be smashing all the black dudes. Listen, just because a woman fetishes over black anaconda doesn't mean she not racist yo do i gotta go back in history and let y'all know y'all do know the slave masters had sex with the black female slaves you do know that right are you gonna say that the slave masters wasn't racist did did did, did, did the slave masters still look at black people as the n-word yes same thing with the females I know, I know plenty of females who are white that would do things with a black dude, but still call them the N-word when they get mad. See, what I learned is that you can't help who you're attracted to. I know a lot of white guys. They fantasize over black women. They still, they still call them the N-word. They still look down on her because she's black. Like, yo, haven't y'all seen the videos? Like, do y'all not see the videos of uh, of an interracial couples arguing and a white and a white person calls them the n-word? Like, like, do y'all not see this? Do y'all know that even though a person might be racist towards a certain race or ethnicity, they will still have sex with that person? They will still have a, some, some type of relationship with that person. Y'all got to open your eyes up. Y'all got to open your eyes and see what's going on. You got to ask yourself, why is she dealing with this? Like, if you black and you see and, 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 and you want to know if, if, if she's racist or not, you got to ask yourself, why does she like black men? What does she get out of it besides the pleasure? Does she want to build with a black man? Does she stand up for a black man? Because let me tell you this. The white girls I used to date, oh, I made them stay up. I made them stand up for me. The Hispanic women I dated, I, I made them stand up for the black man. The Asian women I date, oh, well, not the Asian, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 Chung Lee wasn't down with it. I had to, I had to let her go. Chung Lee was not down with the movement. 
she wasn't ch- no I, I i did mess with this asian girl and i try to get this asian girl to like march and and, and and be and be on some black power stuff with me she was not down with it she was not trying to hit it she's like no no me not down with that so i'm like all right, i i left her alone but all the other girls i told them i said look man if you're gonna be down with me you gotta be down with me if you're gonna be down with me you gotta be down with me So I asked him, so I said, look, do you know what a black man goes through? Are you ready to stand up to your parents when they disrespect me? Are you ready to do that? Are you willing to do that? And they was. Anytime they brothers got out of line and disrespected me when I wasn't around, because remember, they don't do it. They don't, they're not going to do it to me when I'm around. You know what I mean? Like they they respect me. Call it what you want. They to my face, they respect me. Behind my back is a whole different ball game. Behind my back, when I'm not around, oh, they let me have it to the girl, to 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 their sister or oh, whoever my girl is to them. That's why I keep telling y'all, man, if y'all gonna date interracial, you gotta expect for her parents. Not to like the fact that she's dating a black man. You got to expect that. I keep telling y'all. A lot of these a lot of these parents, when you date outside your race, they don't like that the fact that their daughter is dating a black dude. Because, like, I'm not going to lie. We, black men, we got a reputation, man. Like, straight up, we got a reputation. Tyrone, Pookie, and Ray Ray, oh. We got a reputation in, in, in other communities. Like, I don't know for some reason, yo. Like, like th- th- this is a true fact, yo. Like, 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 when, when, when I date outside my race and I met their parents, it's just like, they just know their daughter is doing some nasty, disgusting stuff. Like, yo, yo, yo. I remember one time I met this girl, I met this girl parent show, and they like, oh hey, here's my boyfriend. They just looked at her like, you nasty hoe. You is a hoe. I like it's like it's like it's like when they see me, like when 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 they see us together, like I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like they just know I got their daughter doing some things. And it's like, I I don't tell, like, like they don't tell them what we doing, but they just know. They just know, like, yo, if you dealing with this dude, I know you got to be doing this. I know he be making you do this. I know he be making you do that. And that's why, yo, so check this out. I dated this one white girl, right? I dated this one white girl, and she said, yo, Swag, I'm cool with you. I like you, but I don't think. You know, this is a true story, y'all. I'm, that's what I'm about to tell you. She said, I like you, you cool, but I don't think we can be in a serious relationship. And I said, why? She said, because my parents would disown me. And I said, break it down. Tell me why your parents would disown you. And she said, as a white girl, If I bring you home, if I bring my black boyfriend home, my parents, not only my parents, but my family and my community will look at me as damaged goods. They will look at me as tainted. She said, not only will my parents look at me as tainted, but no other white guys will want to date me after I have dated you. True story, yo. True story. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not lying. She told me this, yo. Now, I wasn't offended. Like it was. It was an eye opener. But I wasn't offended because she came at me very respectful, yo. You know what I mean? Like, um, we we was dealing with each other in college. Well, I wasn't in college, but she was in college. You know what I mean? As y'all know, I live next. I live next to a college, so I I meet a lot of college girls. You know what I mean? Are we talking about NYU, Seton Hall, like 
like all the colleges in the tri-state area, I meet a lot of college girls. And you got to remember, when females go to college, that's where they start to explore. That's where they start to explore different guys that they can't explore in a, in a little town in the Midwest somewhere or they little town in like down south somewhere. So she broke it down to me. She said, look, I'm from a small town in Kentucky, yo. She said, I like you. I wish times was different, but I cannot bring you home to my parents. I could not marry you. I could not have kids with you. Because in her mind, her satisfying her parents, her pleasing and satisfying her parents and meeting up to their standards was way more important than satisfying my than, than satisfying my standards and being with me. You get what I mean? So even though she had so even though me and her had relations together, she still maintained her parents' white supremacist views. You get what I'm saying? Now, 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 check this out. Maybe she wasn't a racist. Maybe she wasn't out here calling people the N-word or all that. But she still maintained that white supremacist mentality. She still maintained that for the sake of her parents. Now, now, she wasn't like the other white girl I dated. Now, the other white girl who I dated, her parents thought the same way, had similar views, but she was ready to be disowned by her parents for me. She was like, I don't care if you don't like swag. He's my man. Go to hell, mom. F off, dad. You get what I mean? So... It's a difference. So, you, you, do you see the difference between the two white girls that I dated? One white girl was not willing to go against her parents' white supremacist views. But the other white girl I dated was ready to be rebellious. You see the difference? So, if you want to know if your girl is racist towards you or not, it don't matter if she has sex with you. She can have sex with you to the... All night, it don't matter. It's, it's nothing but pleasure to them. It's not. See, see, y'all gotta remember a a girl who's racist towards a black man will still have sex with a black man. It's called guilty pleasure. It's called guilty pleasure. Like the girl from Kentucky, she had a guilty pleasure from dealing with me. She knew it was wrong by dealing with me, but it felt so good. She was having guilty pleasure, but the other girl. The other girl who was white and her parents had white supremacist views, she was like, yo, swag, even though my parents is racist, even though my brother and my sisters are racist, I'm down with you. I'm ready to ride for you. F them. We don't need them. F them. You see the difference? So if you want to know if your girl's not racist, ask her, is she ready to go against her parents' views? Ask her if she's ready to, to, to be disowned by her parents for dealing with a black man. Ask her that. If your mom and daddy don't like me when you bring me home for Thanksgiving, will, 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 will you be okay with your family disowning you? Same thing with Hispanic females. Same thing. Trust me. Oh, oh, oh y'all know, know I love Hispanic women. But, but trust me, uh, some of them Mexicans... Them Mexicans don't want their daughters dealing with a black man. And that and that's a fact right there. A lot of these Mexican girls out here dealing with black dudes, they better not bring Tyrone back home to their mama and daddy. Bring 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 Tyrone back home to your house or for, for Cinco de Mayo Fiesta and 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 and, 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 and watch how your Mexican family disown you. They know better. They won't do that. Oh, but they'll still kick it with you. They'll still smoke a blunt with you. They'll still party with you, but they not bring you home to their parents, yo. They not going to bring you home to their parents for to, to introduce you to them as, yo, as her man. They not going to do that. So in closing, stop thinking a girl is not racist just because she sleeps with you. 
I'm sick and tired of you dudes talking about, oh, that white girl ain't racist because she gave me a, a, a BJ the other night. That girl ain't racist. That white girl ain't racist because she went home with me the other night. That don't mean nothing. They have guilty pleasure. Other races of women, they, fat, they fantasize and they fetish over black men. Okay? Listen, I know this. Listen, I, look, I, I'm going to end it with this. I'm about, to end, I'm about to end this sermon with this. I'm in a BDSM community, right? I'm in the BDSM community. Let me tell you, son. The black man is God in the black in the BDSM community. Let me say it again. In the BDSM community, the black man is God. In the community. Go outside the community. It's a whole different story. So guess what? I see. Yo, yo check this out. I, I, yo, this is a true story. Don't you know I see white couples, male, female, the white dude bring his woman to the party to a bdsm party just so she could get smashed by black dudes I, I lie to you not true story true story but guess what that's the same white guy who will call the cops on a black dude just for walking down his block yo that's the same black that's a that's the same white dude who will call the cops on a black dude just for walking down a block mind his business guess what his wife his wife that he brings to the party to let to all the the black dudes with the bbc smasher that's the same karen who's gonna call the cops on him because she thinks he's about to break into her car you see what i mean y'all gotta wake up just because she has sex with you doesn't mean she racist. Let that sink in. And that was today's episode. Like, uh, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.